Track progress. Activity completion or completion tracking displays what students must do to complete each activity. They will see the conditions when clicking into an activity and also, if the teacher chooses, on the course page. And note that the circular completion indicators in the course index on the left give a quick view of what a student has done and still has left to do. Activity completion reports are also available for teachers, as we can see here, so they can check the progress of their students in a course. Teachers can manually mark activities complete on behalf of students. Let's go into Teacher Sam's course and see how to set this up. From Course Navigation, our teacher clicks Settings and then scrolls down to Completion Tracking. This should be enabled by default, but if not, set it to Yes. To have the conditions appear on the course page as well as inside each activity, she sets Show Activity Completion Conditions to Yes. If Sam sets deadlines for some tasks, these can be displayed by going back up to Appearance and setting Show Activity Dates to Yes. Now our teacher can go into an activity or resource and set the completion tracking criteria. Sam has a Course Rules page and if she clicks into it and then clicks Settings, she can then scroll down to select the criteria for activity completion. The choices are not to indicate it, to indicate it manually so students can manually mark as done, or to show it automatically based on criteria. Here our teacher is going to select manual completion so students must click to confirm they've done the activity. To display a date on the timeline block on the student's dashboard, our teacher must click Expect Completed on. In other activities, such as forums, there are other completion criteria. So if Sam goes into her Introduce Yourself forum and clicks Settings again and scrolls down to Activity Completion, we see there are various requirements and a forum, for instance, can require a grade or require that students post a certain number of discussions or replies and the activity will only be marked complete when they've done that. Finally, Note the link Course Completion from Course Navigation More. Here is a drop down menu with three options. Our teacher can specify the activities required for completing a course, can bulk edit default criteria, usually manual, and also bulk change criteria that have already been set.